Hello, I'm Jane Silva. I'm an instructional liaison with the educational partnerships team here at TVO. And today I have the pleasure of showing you a demonstration of TVO Empower. Uh, there is much we can explore, but today we'll be taking a look at the student experience. This is the student dashboard, and even within the student dashboard, there are many worlds we could explore. The um, kindergarten location, my street, or the grade one, my town, grade two, my clubhouse, and each one is very uh, age appropriate and based in the curriculum of that grade level and in contexts that are meaningful to those learners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Empower 3 to 6 and again creative curriculum based uh, world that takes place in the modern day province of Ontario. You may have noticed that there are no age um, or grade levels uh, indicated because we really want to afford um, the opportunity to differentiate for students. Here we are in the player's town in the province of Ontario, and this is the Welcome Centre, and the object of the game is to build your Ontario town using resources earned from playing math and STEM games. And you'll see here that I've earned um, quite a few resources in playing the games. Here is an overview of my town. So as you can see, there's a lot of fun uh, to be had, um, a lot of math and STEM and even social studies learning uh, to happen. I'm gonna head over to Summerside to give you a glimpse. Um, so this is a game-based resource and students are well-versed in walking around. Um, they enjoy talking to characters. As you can see, here are some of my buildings and you may notice there are some challenge plots here that still need some work. You may also notice that students meet a diverse cast of characters and they're representative of the citizens of Ontario and these have been co-designed with learners. Um, in fact, students have provided feedback every step of the way about everything from how well they're learning the concepts to user experience to art style. Um, and how's work on the courthouse coming along? I bet you're super busy. I've got a pretty big caseload myself, so I totally get it. And students play the games through the lens of working at a modern job. And in this case, we have a lawyer and she would like a courthouse for the town. And she has previously challenged me to build the courthouse and to do so I needed to earn um, resources and play a game. So I'm gonna head to Ontario. And as you can see, here's my town in Ontario, but I'm gonna head to Sault Ste. Marie where I will meet the security technician who will direct um, me on my next challenge. And my next challenge is a math game. They breached our firewall again. Can you help us? Of course we can. Have you tried turning it off and on again? So here we have um, the grade three algebra game and it addre addresses foundational concepts such as um, equality and expressions and equations. We are going to play the grade three um, version of this game. Spyware Squasher. Report to first stage clearance immediately. You need to determine the value of variables and make pairs of expressions equal to wrest control from the violence. So I'm going to click through. So the objective of the game is to reorder terms and operators and make the equation true and wonderful dialogue and it's all read um, to you. Here we have the fingerprint sensors which I click to rearrange the equation um, in order to make the value, the values work in such a way that the equation is true. So 5 plus 13 is equal to 18. So now I'm presented with my next set and I know that A is equal to 10. 10 plus 17 equals 7. Hmm. I'm going to use the fingerprint sensor, and there we go. Now the game is scaffolded in that if I have trouble, it encourages me to try again. And it gives you hints along the way. So in this case, it's suggesting that perhaps I start with A. So I'm going to start with A, and I'm going to 12 plus... 12 equals 24. We've unlocked the door to the server room. 
So I'm moving on to the second stage. I wish you luck neutralizing the virus in your virtual environment. And the dialogue is quite lovely. Okay, so again, a different take on the learning. And very similarly, throughout all the games in uh, kindergarten, from kindergarten to grade six, they're all scaffolded in three to six, depending on how I respond. Um, games will actually, um, the questions are adaptive, meaning that if I succeed, um, and it appears to see that I'm completing the questions quite uh, efficiently, uh, harder questions will be shared and vice versa. So in this case, I'm going to lock on. It appears that this equation is successful, but I'm having trouble with this one and the viruses have gotten closer. So I'm going to try another value. Looks like we're still off balance. Double check your input. And I notice that I have too much weight here on this side. It's off balance. Um, so I'm going to try another number and lock on. So I've earned more shapes and by building, um, and I'll head back to our town. By building other structures, or I'm gonna, let's build a basketball half court. I continue to draw new community members to the town who challenge me to progress in my learning. So students are um, having fun and they are encouraged to play more without perhaps even realizing um, they're learning wonderful concepts of math, science, and social studies, and literacies, digital included. So we're gonna play a STEM game, and our STEM games are simulations where students apply science, technology, engineering, and mathematics concepts in real world contexts. Um, and in this way, they're building wonderful transferable skills such as critical thinking enabling them to be the next generation of innovators in this case we're going to play the grade six flight zone stem game and students apply science and technology engineering and mathematics um, so they apply science technology engineering and mathematics concepts in the real world connections and here we have the they'll be addressing properties of flight. So for example, lift and thrust, um, and they're gonna try to carry the emergency supplies to outlying communities. So here we're at the warehouse where the design will happen. And now we're being guided through the obstacle course, so to speak. And we're gonna head back to the resource, sorry, to the warehouse where we can design our We're going to design our vehicle. So here we have the cargo to consider. It is a light cargo, so that's an advantage to us. We have a budget of $10,000, and we have the properties here that we must consider. So I can tap on a socket or choose a body. And there we go. I'm looking at the properties as I choose. I'm going to purchase this one. I'm going to select a controller and that will help with navigating You're happy with your and I'll continue to purchase different here's a propeller another propeller again I can work through beautifully designed propellers that each have their own qualities um, a landing gear perhaps I'd like to try something different on this side okay and it seems my Levels are looking good. I'm going to try to launch. We can't get off the ground. Let's get back to the warehouse. Use your knowledge of the properties of flight to rework your UAV. And if I head back, so I wasn't able to take off, um, I notice, in fact, I have a socket that's missing. And there we go. Now I have battery levels. 
and perhaps I'll spend quite a bit more here. Let's excellent large battery life. And let's give this a shot. And I still am having trouble. Tap the sell button. So perhaps I'm going to try again. Yes. I'm going to purchase this and select the different components. And that's the beauty of design challenges such as this. You can try different options and test them. Okay, so I'm prepared for launch and I'm using arrow keys to steer. Okay, and when playing this game, you'll be able to sense um, I'm successfully flying. I don't feel the control is as strong as I would like. At this point, I can go back to the warehouse uh -oh, and redesign my aircraft. I did have some budget left. And I'll just wait for that vehicle to pass by. Pick up my cargo. Okay, excellent. I am feeling that additional thrust would have come in handy right now. And again, my controller would still need work. I am struggling to fly this aircraft. However, I am determined to make it to the end here. And here's my goal of delivering the cargo. Excellent. So again, here I've earned more resources and I can look at through the class gallery, um, share comments, talk to my peers, and there's so much more we can do. Um, again, this was but a sample of the wonderful learning at TVO um, Empower has to offer. There are many additional worlds, um, there are characters to meet, challenges to complete, and, but as you can see, the learning is fun, authentic, um, and students and educators and parents have responded with a lot of wonderful and positive feedback. Thank you.